don't care what you say, Mrs. Bennett. Tabitha's a witch. That's why those but, tea leaf readings came out so ugly. Don't be ridiculous. Tabitha was very upset by what Eve and Pilar saw in your tea. Sure she was. Play off, Reese. Look, okay, everybody's just edgy over what Father Lonigan said earlier. You're right, sweetheart. Come on. Have some fun. Go, come on. Go, please. Although I did sense the same thing Father Lonigan did, that evil was nearby. It was not connected. Oh, it's more than a connection, honey. I can't wait to see how she feels about what her tea leaves had in store for her. I'm no stranger to evil, but what you've got planned for Harmony's casserole queen is quite loathsome. And I'm not even warmed up yet. But you can bet your blonde curls I will be when I get Miguel's pants off later on. What about Kay? You know she'll do anything to keep you away from Miguel. Do I look worried to you? No. I'm going to have hot sex with Miguel, after which he'll die. What a perfect birthday. birthday could have been happier. The sleazy guy at the nightclub really shook him up. Come on, Les, pick up the phone. Yeah, I'd be happy to call the air charter service if you're still intent on getting off the island tonight. Yeah, I'm intent on getting off the island but tonight, but like I said, those flights are a little bit too expensive for my taste, so we'll just have to wait. I'm working on another way to get off, but thanks. Damn it. Pick up the phone, Liz. Diana's life may depend on it. Brian knows the score. Either pays me back the money he owes me, or I take something even more precious away from him. It's all up to him. What's happening now, Mr. Crane? Oh, but I would, thanks to the wonderful world of electronics. Quite a three-ring circus, isn't it, Davis? Uh, yes, sir. Except nobody's laughing. Sir, I'm still confused. I don't know what you want me to do about Teresa's bail. I haven't made up my mind yet. The only thing I know for a fact is that Teresa will be sentenced to die for Julian's murder. Or something. 
You're the one who upset even Pilar with your scary tea leaves. It's because you said you'd track Timmy down and kill him if I didn't. Whatever works. Which it did quite nicely, if I do say so myself. Pilar ran off screaming into the night in some futile attempt to save Teresa's hide, and, well, Eve's as shaken up as I've ever seen her. Well done, old girl. I didn't want your compliments, thank you. If I were you, I'd take what I can get. Anyway, Grace is next. You ready? As much as I loathe and despise Grace's goody two-shoes personality, I'd really rather stay out of this one. Oh, um, you do what I say or Timmy dies tonight. All right, I'll get on with it. As long as we understand one another. Are you still thinking about how your mom's freaked out? I don't know what to do. You know, I feel like I should go after her, but... It's Jody's birthday, you know? Hey, man, just talk to her. Yeah. Excuse me. My hunkadelic boyfriend needs me. Um, be right there. Sorry. Now what? I'm begging you. Please, for the last time, please. Don't hurt him. You'd do anything to spare him, wouldn't you? Yes. Don't you get it? I love Mikkel. I can't let you kill him. Gee, okay. I didn't realize how much this meant to you. I mean, you've never cared about anybody but yourself, okay? Except for Miguel. I have always cared about Miguel. Please don't make him pay for my mistakes. Please. If you feel that strongly about it, I won't make love to him. I'll let him live. Really? <laughs> I mean, do, do you mean that? No, idiot. Once I make up my mind, I do not change it. Miguel is going to die tonight. Where are you? Liz's place. Oh, Liz, thank goodness. I thought you never gonna answer. Brian, where are you? Bermuda. Oh, I thought you and Diana would be back by now. You've said you were only gonna be gone for a few days, and I am going crazy without my waitress. I know, I know. That's why I'm calling. I need a favor. What else is new? I know I owe you, and I'll explain everything to you when I see you. And when would that be? As soon as you can get here to pick us up. How am I supposed to do that? Well, you still have that little plane out there in the airport hangar, don't you? Yeah. Well, do you think you could fuel it up and get over here to Bermuda tonight? If it's really important. Yes, it is important. It's a matter of life and death. I'll be there as soon as I can. I'll do anything to keep you out of danger, Brian. Yeah, well, it's not me so much I'm worried about. It's Diana. She's in grave danger, and she has no idea. You're talking about me, aren't you? What don't I have any idea about? Hey, order in the courtroom. I'm warning you, ladies. Hands off the prisoner. Pilar, let go of her. You're not helping anything. You don't Shh. understand. That is, I could die for the murder that she's confessed to. I tried to talk to her, Pilar, but she won't listen to anyone. Well, she'll listen to her mother if I have anything to say about it. Well, Pilar, you're jumping the gun here, all right? Teresa's just been charged. It's going to take time before the case is heard. Mama, you hurt me. And I'll do whatever it takes to keep you from being put to death. Your Honor, please, uh, don't hold this against my sister. Like Chief Bennett said, my mother just found out that Teresa had been charged, and I promise you this will not happen again. I should hope not. Now, are you all ready to continue with this bail hearing? Uh, yes, yes, Your Honor. No, well, por el amor de Dios. How can you continue when I am telling you that my daughter should not be here? She would never kill another human being, even someone as vile as Julian Crane. Now, either you calm her down right now, or I'll have the bailiff remove her from the courtroom. Mama, please. Please, Le I am sorry, but I could not allow this to go on. That as I could die, I saw it in my tea leaves. What? Look, Mama, I know for a fact that my daughter did not kill Julian Crane because I killed him myself. Why, you don't know what you're saying. Yes, I, I do, Louise. Stop it. On the night... Julian was murdered. I followed him off the crane grounds into the fish cannery. 
And he tried to get away from me, but I chased him inside. And I shot him. I shot him in cold blood. So if anyone should be arrested for the murder, it's me. I am the killer, and I demand that you arrest me. Nice try, Mrs. Lopez Fitzgerald, but it won't work. Your son already tried that. You confessed to the shooter? Yeah. Yeah, I did. I don't care if I get a confession from the entire population of Harmony. The physical evidence against Miss Lopez Fitzgerald Crane is overwhelming. The gun, the missing bullet, the gunpowder residue... But I don't know about any of that, okay? But I know that my daughter could not have done this. Now, that's it. I have tried to be patient with you because you're the defendant's mother, but now you're obstructing justice. Please, Your Honor. Don't interrupt. If I hear another word out of any of you, this hearing will be over, and Teresa can spend the night in jail. Hell hath no fury like Mama Bilar. Even so, there's nothing she can do to save her pobrosita Teresa from a death sentence. So worried about your mom? I've just never seen her so upset. Miguel, your mom is a strong, intelligent woman. She's gonna be fine when she realizes that she was just reacting to something in some silly leaves. Yeah, I hope so. You know, maybe I should go find her. Tonight? On my birthday? I don't want to leave you. Right, but I don't know what to do. Okay, um. I was so excited when you told me about the hotel reservations, but um, if you want to save making love to me for another night, then that's... No, I don't want to wait, okay? I have been dreaming about this for months. I'm just so bummed about my mother. Miguel, there's nothing you can do. <sighs> Frankly, I think that the best thing for you is just to take your mind off of it. Talk to her when she's calmer, tomorrow. I don't know. I know a way to distract you. Oh, you do, do you? Yes. What do you say we leave this party early, check into the hotel? You want to skip out on your own party? Why not? Come on, just tell Reese that you went to get some ice or something. I will meet you there in a half an hour. Oh, so no one sees us leave together. Oh, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Miguel, I've waited so long to make love to you. Please don't make me wait any longer. I, I don't know if I should lie to Reese. Oh, come on. It won't really be a lie. You know Reese would do the same thing if he was going to some secret rendezvous with Kay. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here's the address of the place. Great. I will meet you there. And will you tell Kay where we're going? I mean, I think someone should know, and we can trust her not to give us away. Right, sure. What's up, buddy? Hey, check this out, Miguel. I've been looking up witches yeah, and herbal not, not, not now, Reese. Um, there's something I want to tell you, okay? If anyone asks, be cool, and uh, tell them that I went to go get some ice. But we've got bags and bags of ice. Reese, come on. All right, I'm not really going to get ice. I'm going to a hotel room that I rented with charity. Oh. Oh, right. Sweet, sweet loving. <laughs> Go get him, tiger. <laughs> Um, he said something, uh, something about going to get some ice, or... Ice. Okay. <sighs> well, as long as I know where Zombie Charity is, Miguel will be safe. Mama, you sit down right here and you don't say another word to that judge. Please. Choice. You two can make up with each other later. I 
I, for one, would like to get out of this courtroom sometime tonight. We're ready to proceed, Your Honor. Well, thank goodness somebody is. Now, I've considered all the evidence put before me by both sides, and I've decided to grant the defendant bail. Yes. Thank God. Finally, some good news. Before you all dance on out of here, I want it understood that Mrs. Teresa Crane is not to leave the town of Harmony before the trial. That is an absolute condition of this bail, and if broken, will put her back behind bars immediately. Is that understood? Yes, Your Honor. Mrs. Crane, I'd like to hear that from you. Yes, Your Honor. One other thing. The bail has been set at $10 million. Oh, my God. Will Alistair prove that much for my release? Uh, we'll just have to see, won't we? I mean, he, he's got to, right? He, he, he wouldn't want me to stay in jail. I mean, he couldn't, right? It's okay, Mama. At least there's a chance that Teresa won't spend tonight in jail. It's only the beginning, Lisa. I'm so afraid that my terrible vision will come to pass. Are you talking about the tea leaves again? Yes. Half the bandits earlier. Right, Louise, when I looked into the teacup, I saw that it's an execution. <laughs> my baby's going to die. <laughs> Don't blow a gasket. I'm going to read Grace's tea leaves right now. Oh, take your time. I need to distract you. Chad, I just love the music you're playing. It's awesome. Good. <laughs> hey, any, uh, any special requests? Oh, yes. But why don't you save it till Miguel gets back? I would love to dance with him. You got it. Grace, dear. I'm terribly sorry about my little parlor game. I never intended to upset even Pilar. Tell her that's not your fault. <sighs> of course, yours will give me a chance to make up for the other two. Are you ready, dear? Oh, you know, I'm not so sure I still want to do that. Mom, don't. I mean, not after what Miguel's mother went through. Not to mention Eve. Man, I'll be all right. Oh, dear, I knew I'd get the blame for all this. All I wanted to do was make a little contribution to dear Charity's birthday party, and now I've ruined everything. Oh, just no fool like an old fool. I, I can't even get a stupid parlor game right. No wonder everyone laughs at the guy in my pants. No, 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 no. We don't laugh at you. And we know that this, this, this couldn't have been your fault. Then whose fault is it? Evils, as Father Lonigan said. Do you honestly think that evil insinuated itself into my little parlor game to warn us that something would happen if we weren't careful? A warning? Yeah, yeah, maybe that's it. It's just a warning. If that's true, that could be the bright side. <laughs> Which would be... Well, perhaps the, the horrific visions that even Pilar saw could be stopped before they came to pass. Oh, no, no, no. On the other hand, I'm sure it's really all my fault somehow. I'm just gonna take my tea caddy and my kettle and go home to my big old empty house all by myself. Wish I hadn't come here tonight. No, no, Tabitha, please. No, don't go home. I, you know what? I want you to read my tea leaves. <laughs> what? Well, I, I mean, supposing you see something horrible at the bottom of your teacup. Well, then I will just take it the way you suggested, that it's a warning for something that I could stop from happening. Okay. <laughs> what if the tea leaves show that John is going to see?
Charity, I, I'm so sorry. Let me oh. get you a napkin. Or... Oh, Reese, it's okay. It's okay. Don't worry about it. I'm just gonna um, change into another shirt. Are you sure? I feel really terrible. No, don't feel terrible. Really. It's okay. Um, I'm just gonna go upstairs and change, Reese. And if Miguel comes back, just tell him I'll be back in a few minutes. All right? Oh, I will. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, ugh, leave me alone. I need to change into another shirt. Okay, but if I don't see you upstairs in your bedroom window in like a minute, I swear I'm going to tell everybody here exactly who and what you are. Understand? Boy, are you suspicious. Even zombies tell the truth sometimes. So, Brian, what are you keeping from me? Uh, darn, you know what? <laughs> you ruined my surprise. I was gonna... Liz is gonna fly over here and pick us up. Take us back home to St. Lisa's. Nice save, Brian. Wow. Liz flies her own plane. Let me talk to her. Yeah, okay, sure. Hey, you've been holding out on me. Oh, <laughs> it's no big deal. To fly your own plane? It is to me. So how did Brian talk you into chauffeuring us home? I just thought it might be fun to go for a spin. Hmm. Uh, listen, can I have Brian back? I'd like to go over a few more details before I take off. Sure. Do you want to talk to you again? Uh, thanks. Uh, can you do me a favor while I'm doing this? Can you order us a car? You got it. Thanks. <laughs> thanks, Liz. I would have never asked you to do that if it wasn't important. Well, I know how much Diana means to you. See you at the airport. Oh, and Liz, can you hurry up? I have no idea what this low life has planned for Diana, but I don't want to stick around here to find out. Nothing like a novice gambler getting in over her head. It's like taking candy from a baby. If she would have done anything to make enough money to buy her boyfriend that birthday present. How touching. Now we got a chokehold on Brian, he can't cut loose. If he doesn't cough up some big money, it's gonna be the sorriest birthday lover boys ever had. Well, Mr. Davis, we're all ears. Will Alistair Crane approve a $10 million bail for his son's widow? Uh, excuse me, Your Honor. <clears throat> yes? Yes, sir. Well, we were just discussing that. I, I see. Well, don't keep us in suspense. The cranes are going to do it again. They're going to turn their backs on Teresa. That was the most joyful night. Yes, it was. Well, tell me. I mean, did he approve my bail or not? Scaring me. If I were you, I'd be scared too, Teresa. Well, <laughs> all I see are tea leaves. <laughs> Excellent. But you're not looking very closely. <laughs> um, yeah, I do see something now. It Looks like my living room. And I see two people in it. What is it, Grace? What do you see? It's, it's King and Charity, and they're fighting, and they look like they're going to kill each other. Huh. I knew 
might find a use for you. Shadow of a demon. Shadow from hell. Hang out here while I jump Miguel. Feels good to get out and about, doesn't it? To the window, please. Now, all you have to do is hang out here while I go do my thing with Miguel. Yes, Your Honor. The Cranes will post Teresa's bail. Oh, thank you, God. I bet you tend to one that Alistair's watching this on some TV monitor. <laughs> Man's like Big Brother. Yeah. I got some other choice words for him, but as long as he agrees to help my sister, I'll hold him for now. Oh, I'm with you. As long as he can help her. Yeah. As soon as you give your check to the bailiff, the defendant is free to go. This hearing is adjourned. All rise. I told you, being a crane has its perks. Everything is gonna be fine, okay? It's gonna be fine. No, it won't, Teresa. I do not pretend to understand Alistair's plans, but it doesn't bode well for you. saw my two girls fighting in my tea leaves. She is so gullible. She doesn't suspect a thing. I'll be off pretending to lose my virginity to Miguel and she'll be staring at my shadow. By the time she realizes it isn't me, Lover boy will be dead. temporary reprieve. What's all this about a teacup? Look, I know how it sounds. Trust me, but I know what I saw was clear as day. Uh, Tabitha was reading tea leaves at Charity's birthday well, party. Come on, Mama. You don't believe in I that know, stuff. I know, but it was only a game, and I, I just didn't see any harm. Only... 
It showed me a vision of Teresa being executed. That's awful. That's okay. Listen, be logical. Juan, you know that stuff doesn't mean anything. Sam, you know what? A year ago or so, I would have thought the same thing. But so many unexplained events have happened since then. And you and I both know that some people have real premonitions about the future. Look, I know Charity and Grace have premonitions sometimes. Well, tonight it was my turn. And Eve, she also saw something that frightened her in her teacup. Wait, wait, what did she say she saw? But you, just, you had better talk to your mother, Whitney. All I know is I'm going to award the two with that Tabitha Lennox. No, it is not Tabitha's fault. What I saw, I saw with my own eyes. And it's what prompted me to call the police station. And I'm so thankful that I did because I found out about Teresa. And you should have called me. No, I just wanted to tell you in person. The cop on duty disobeyed my orders. He didn't do anything wrong. He just assumed that I already knew. Come on. Let's look on the bright side, okay? At least Alistair put up bail for Teresa, right? I don't think even Alistair Crane can save Teresa from being executed. dance all night. Me later, okay? Okay. Maybe in the meantime we could go for a walk? Reese, I'm a little busy. But I promise I'll come find you in a while, okay? Sure. Okay. I'm going to keep you and Miguel away from each other tonight, zombie. So help me God, I will. Would you stop looking at your watch? There's no way Liz could get here this fast. Sure she could if she left right away. It's just a short hop from St. Lisa's over here. Hey, Liz. Hey, you two. I got here as soon as I could. Yeah, can we go? Yeah, as soon as the plane is refueled. If you want, you can board now. Okay, I'll tell you what. Um, why don't you go on? I'll catch up with you, okay? Okay. You think someone followed you here? I don't know. I just don't want to take any chances. Right. Diana's safety. Yeah. These are bad people, Liz, that don't like me. And I just don't want to make sure that they don't take their anger at me out on Diana, you know, so... Well, then what are we waiting for? Let's get off this island. Well? I just called a buddy of mine who runs a switchboard at the pavilion. It seems O'Leary called a friend of his on St. Lisa's. She's coming to pick up the two of them tonight. Sounds like old Brian's running scared. You want me to stop the plane from leaving Bermuda? Nah. Catch up with them on St. Lisa's. That won't be hard. Brian's lady pilot friend owns the hotel there. That's where Brian and his girlfriend have rooms. Uh, good work, Stan. Brian can run, but he can't hide. Or protect his precious girlfriend. He doesn't want to honor his financial obligations. The girl pays with her life. We're almost.
Once done with the paperwork, and then Therese will be able to leave in the next few minutes. Great. I'm sorry the way everything materialized, Therese. Don't feel bad, Chief Bennett. Everything is going to work out fine. There is no way that Alistair would let anything bad happen to someone who carries his family name. Okay, we're all set. Therese is free to go. Will you please tell them, Mr. Davis? They're all so freaked out. They think that something really bad is going to happen to me. Tell them that Alistair would go to the ends of the earth to protect one of his own. Uh, it's true. Uh, Mr. Crane has made it clear that he intends to be closely involved in Teresa's case. You see? What did I tell you? Now everything is going to be fine, so let's just get out of here, okay? Please. Mama, come with me. And I'll bring the car around, drive it back to the estate. Home, you mean? Uh, yes, yes, your home. I'm doing this for you, Ethan. Someday, somehow, we will be together again. I, I just know it. Mama, you're still shaking. Vision and the TVs will come true. Hey, hey, hey. Don't say that, okay? Now, there's no reason to believe that Teresa's gonna get the death penalty for Julian's murder. Okay? Not at all. All right. Everything's going according to plan, Mr. Crane. Very well. But I won't rest until Teresa is on her way to the death chamber.